I think we'll start this out with the example. Hang on, the hell we're changing. punishment video folks um, actually just an introduction to punishment a few things I want you to worry about um, basically well no it's punishment so I want you to worry about everything this is uh, this is one of those hot topics in the field people are like oh don't use punishment and oh, no, no. they say all sorts of things about punishment um, there's some misconceptions about punishment there, there's some non misconceptions there's some genuine concerns so obviously we're gonna do quite a few videos on them just to make sure that you understand what's going on and um, how to understand the concept of punishment um, and the different types of punishment and under what conditions it's useful and some of the things you want to watch out for so again this is just kind of an introduction to the topic so let's just go over a few things uh, I'm really worried about me stomping on this thing because I might get punished um, in, in other words my behavior of stomping might actually be reduced as I start to feel this thing wiggle under Underneath me, it doesn't feel completely safe, but that's okay. We'll pretty much do anything here for psych for uh, making the point about what punishment or anything is as far as behavior analysis goes. So, whew, ah, all right. So, punishment. Here we go. Uh, the contingent application or removal of a stimulus that results in the reduction of a response. Right? So in the, in the future, of course. So uh, this contingency stuff, when we talk about it, it's always about future behavior. It's never about something in the past. Sometimes that confuses folks. Um, so one of the things we need to remember with punishment, it's going to reduce behavior. That's what it is. If I slap you across the face, you're like, God, do it again. That's probably not punishment. Um, if I crack you on the bum and you say, ha, 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 that was fun, probably not a punisher, right? You have to look and see. You have to find out, is the behavior reducing? Right? And there's all sorts of different types of punishment. Though. We know that there's tons of them, and you know most of them. That's a punisher. Could be a punisher, right? So adding a spanking is a type of punishment. Um, taking something away from someone to reduce a behavior, that's punishment as well. Um, so you got positive punishment, you got negative punishment. Right? So, um, um, so the, the, it, it follows the pattern with reinforcement as well. So positive and negative in the world of punishment is more about, it isn't more about, it is about adding something. It's not about moral value or subtracting something. It's not about moral value, right? So it's not positive and negative as in good and bad. It's in, in mathematical, added or removed. Right? It's that simple, right? So positive punishment, something's been added to reduce a behavior. Negative punishment, something's been removed, or, yeah, removed to reduce a behavior. Um, one more quick little, well, maybe two more, I don't know. We'll see where I get with this. Uh, another thing to talk about with regard to punishment is to think of it as suppression. You see, when I, when I, my hands do this for a reason, it's because it prompts me to remind myself that punishment is really suppression, right? It pushes down on that behavior. It holds it down for a little while. As long as the contingency or maintaining, or as long as the contingency delivering the punishers is in place. When you remove that contingency, when you remove the punisher, if you will, guess what's gonna to happen to the behavior? Whoop! It's gonna pop right back up. Right? Punishment isn't like extinction. Right? Extinction tends to have a more lasting effect on behavior. Once the behavior's gone, it tends to be that way. You get your spontaneous recovery and all that, I get it. But it tends to be more permanent, right? Punishment is definitely not. In fact, what often happens with punishment is a discriminated punishment, right? A, dis a situation where you learn that in this context, in this context alone, that particular behavior is gonna be punished. Right? Um, we've got tons of examples of this over time. Um, if you think about, um, like, if I'm driving fast, I tend to drive a little bit faster than probably what I should, but it's a discriminated situation, right? I know that behavior is going to be punished if there's the presence of a police officer, most likely. Okay, um, so it doesn't seem to control my behavior though, right? Um, so maybe if I see a cop or see what I think is a cop, then, then maybe I will reduce my, 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 my behavior of speeding, but not too often. It doesn't seem to have that much of an effect. Um, and anyway, what is the police officer pulling you over? Um, and let's, let's take it all the, the, full, the full length. So cop, you're just speeding down the road, you get pulled over and you get a ticket. Is it positive punishment or negative punishment? Well, I would probably argue it's negative punishment. You're going, what? You've added a ticket? Are you crazy, man? No, I'm not crazy. The ticket itself doesn't do anything. 
It's the loss of money that's associated with the ticket. It's the loss of money that's associated with the insurance that, that goes up. Um, so I think that a ticket is ideally really working on a negative punishment um, procedure, right? At least that's what the, the hypothesis would be. Uh, when the cops pulling you over, saying, "Don't do that again," right? They're even telling you, "Don't do that again." Right? Reduce your behavior. We don't want you to engage in that. You're going to hurt someone. Um, I've often argued that maybe um, positive that, that getting pulled over is a positive punisher too, right? How? Because it's kind of embarrassing. You're adding this. Hey, Ryan's been pulled off on the side of the road. Here you go. Um, so, anyway, keep in mind uh, that we have punishment. We've got a couple of different types: the positive, and negative punishment, and it's really about suppression, folks. We're really just holding that behavior down. It happens very sensitively uh, in terms of discrimination. So you, you, you end up discriminating when that punisher is going to be in place. So it's not a real good tool to control a lot of behavior. We always like to focus on reinforcement. One more real big point as to why. Punishers do not teach a new response. Punish you, punish you, punish you, but I'm not teaching you what to do, then I'm not being a good behavior analyst. See ya.